Hey, this is Lee Waller. Thanks for joining me in this series on motion media design in After Effects. I'm going to take a look at right now animating and keyframes in After Effects. There's a few things I want to go over. If you need a quick tutorial on this, jump back out and go take a look at my quick animate keyframes. Otherwise, I'm going to go a little more in depth in this one so that you get some concepts that really help you understand uh, going beyond just dropping in those keyframes. Uh, the first thing you need to understand is, of course, After Effects motion media design is all about the space and the time. If you design a graphic, it, it's going to just sit there. It's going to be still. It's going to be static. There's no motion to it. So you don't have to worry about time. But in After Effects motion media design, motion graphics, yes, there's that element of time. We have time and then we have space. Oftentimes, those will be referred to in After Effects as spatial and temporal. Kind of keep that in mind. The next thing I want you to uh, understand is the pixel. The pixel is the smallest point of a raster image or video. So the project we're working in will be based on pixels and the resolution is based on pixel. The resolution of this project that I'm working in right now is 1920 by 1080. That is high def standard resolution, 1920 by 1080. And that's counting the pixels in the image. So if I start right here at zero in this point, there'll be 1,920 pixels across. And then again, right here, starting at zero, there'll be 1,080 going down. And of course you have this whole grid that uh, makes up the rest of the resolution of the image. All in here is the rest of the resolution based on those two numbers. Um, a lower high def resolution is 1280 by 720. Fewer pixels, fewer information in there. You can jump up to 4K images, or you can go to 4x3 images, something like 640 by 480, just depending on what project you're working on. But that is resolution based on pixels. Frame rate is the next thing we need to take a look at. How many frames in a second, or how many pictures in each second? Here we have a number of different frame rates that are used in production. We start off with 2397, which is kind of a drop frame, which is standard for film. Uh, also a 24 frame, which is also standard for film. Then we have 2997 and 30 frames per second, which will be standard for television. You can see here that this represents one second of video, and there's 10 frames in this one second. You have very little information in this, so this image is going to look very choppy. As we increase the frames per second, you have more information and the motion is going to look smoother. Here's 30 frames per second, and as we move on up 45 frames per second, up to 60 frames per second. The reason we might want more frames per second is that it smooths out the motion and we can also slow that down and get slow motion and get some really crisp, nice looking images. The last thing that I wanna look at and probably one of the most important things for After Effects is the keyframe. Once we jump into actually animating, you'll see where this comes into play, but the keyframe in our timeline records the state of the transform property. There's five basic transform properties. At the point in time, it is set. Any animation is going to take two keyframes. You'll have a beginning keyframe and an ending keyframe. Both keyframes will be at a different time in the timeline, and both keyframes will have a change in property. I hope you'll continue watching on as we get more in-depth with motion media design with After Effects.